Well, good morning guys it's me again so it's a monday so it's a good day today we're going to show you remember the is250 we did the windshield with a lot of damage well so we have another one okay but this one is done by the same guy did the is250 now i'm see there's a lot of problems i got a dent inside here i got a lot of glow exposed in the middle um the bin number is almost covered you see here it's a lot of glue here almost touched the bin so that's not a big deal but all this area is show the glue it got a lot of scratches for the blade probably he used a tractor because let me show you here you can see is the dent right here another dent so probably hit with the blade more problems here uh, this is why you guys you have to hand any kind of system to fiber lines or wire okay because if the guy doesn't have the system he used the tractor and he just messed the paint I'm, I'm, I'm not saying the structure is a problem I'm saying these people they don't know how to use it but now it's a lot of problems a lot of mess glue outside also the guy tried to pull the pillar size because maybe he tried to reseal because the customer is pouring windows he damaged because he used the screwdriver here and you can see the hole right there glue uh, exposed a lot of damage on the pillar size so I have to take this one with me to fix it uh, send it to the shop to fix it and a big gap of uh, urethane in the corner so but the guy say the windows is coming on this part so they're gonna start working and see what happened okay so it's gonna be a lot of work but this is what I'm saying this is when the people they need to change the world I mean you don't know how to do the job but you don't want to do the job just get another job but don't do, don't do this kind of job it's gonna be a lot of mess Okay guys, so let's start working here. I'm gonna use my Pro 6 because uh, I don't wanna use another blade. It's, 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 it's too much problems here. So I'm gonna use the glove. Now, I ordered these kind of gloves. They say cut resistant gloves, okay? So you can see this is supposed to, you know, the best for hold. I'm gonna use these kind of gloves when I have these jobs, when I have to clean with blades because the blades broke, the same like they cut my hand and the IS. I'm gonna use these kind of gloves, they promise Hold the blades but I'm not sure what kind of blades they say knives like this one you see you holding a knife but maybe the teeny blade is different so let's see what happened if this one doesn't make it I'm gonna just order another ones with the metal you know that's a little little teeny chains I want to say chains but it's like a little teeny metal and it's more stronger than this one but can scratch the paint so that's why I'm gonna use this one see what happened okay so see you next shot. I'm gonna set everything here, take the parts out, and we start working. See, see how bad is the job. Okay. So finally, we have to pull the windshield now. Well, let me show you. It's really, really difficult. I try any kind of tools. So I use my long knife, my big knife, uh, wire. The wire broke a couple times. Right here, right here. I went to through the glass here. You can see more than two inches of glue and all the bottom. But you can see here nothing completely clean that's why the customer noticed the wind noise coming from this part now look at this how beautiful is this kind of job okay it's a beauty look at this three fingers is almost two and a half inches almost three inches of glue on this area okay look at that more that's why i was thinking why every time i put my blade in here i, I couldn't just go right here no more now if i use my extractor even when my extractor the, the long blade is going to go through but ima imagine how many guys mess with this with the extractor i'm not going to make another i can mix another problem with the dashboard so that's why i choose to don't use extractor so i use just my blade inside my wire and little pieces right here i, I couldn't keep just for right here no more and i have to use my blade the big one you know one that i made a long time ago and just go through here because I don't want to use a tractor in this kind of job but you can see he put a lot of glue all the bottom was filled by glue you see completely I never saw a Jetta with this kind of glue but this is for the F-150s the 2009 2007 but they're never like this man it's too much he almost went to the glue to the bin number and he was nice but all I don't know why he filled all that with glue look at this too much damage look at that big right here it's because they you know when they make bridges right here they start here go around and finish here so that's why they have a big gap that's why it never went now it's got scratches on the pitch wheel a lot a lot of scratches dent right here 
so it's very very bad guys i mean the guy, this is more like an uh, it's not an accident it's not something happened it, this is somebody don't care the job it's just like he want and do everything he wants i don't think he's doing this one because he knows the job but maybe he don't care the job that's what happened and also um what else i want to show you uh he put glue on this and what i'm saying is he put a lot of glue and look at this spot completely clean so uh how possible you can mess this spot right here with three inches here and more here and more here nothing here but uh, i feel bad for this guy because he tried to be a glassman but he just lies himself look at this bad okay guys so i'm gonna clean that bee it's gonna take a little while remember when you do this kind of job you gotta be down and slow don't lose your uh you know be patient because this kind of job need patience. If, you, if I start to be stressed or pissed, what I'm doing, I'm gonna get or break something. You always have to take down all your bad feelings when you see this kind of job. Because you do this kind of job in what, 35 minutes, 40 minutes? What happens if I'm gonna spend two hours? Because it's gonna be two hours in this job. So you gotta be patient, slow down, and just do your job. Okay, that's what we make the pay. That's what they pay me because they know I do the job pretty good. <clears throat> and they know I have to fix I, I know how to fix these problems uh, I'm gonna use universal molding because I need to cover the scratches for the pitch wheel um, you know a lot of work guys so see you next shot I'm gonna finish this job and show you how it's gonna look after this so okay finally, see you next. after more than 30 minutes believe it or not it took me 30 minutes to fix all the problems I've already removed the three inches on the bottom, the size. I fixed the pillar size. I fixed the little hole right there, the dent was like a little dent. Um, I put primer. I went, remember this spot is really high over here. So fortunately I have a paint for the last job, for a, a, uh, another job I did. So I have to retouch right here. I, I didn't see that one, so I have to retouch that one. And I have to primer all the edge because it's very, very nasty scratches what the guy did before. So, but finally we finished. I'm a little higher on these areas so but and i cover with the paint here but i'm gonna use remember universal molding in this case is nothing else i can do this is the only way so i'm gonna use the marching lane so i've already set the molding cut the 45s and that's the only way because it's really bad the damage if i don't fix it like this they have to send it to the body shop to fix it so um and you know that's not my deal now just my deal is fix this problem so let me just retouch the little paint I have this paint for the another job I did for the same guy and another job he messed he chips uh, a lot so I have to just retouch it and repaint and put a lot of universal molding so let me just cover that last scratch right there and we finish okay so let me I'll be right back just let me put this paint and I'll be back just to set and we and finish we finished okay. to fix all the problems we found on this vehicle so remember a lot of scratches already primer I fixed the pillar size I fixed the hole right there so it's clean and ready to go okay so i've already set my stuff i'm going to use universal molding marcy lane because it's the only way to cover all the damage by the blade by the structure so remember the only problem i have is going to reduce my bone my area on inside so i have to go incline a little bit outside like a 90 on this way okay if not i'm going to have glue exposed so i have i cannot put a lot i'm going to just really thin it today i'm going to start from here in the middle gonna be a low B exactly right here I'm gonna incline in this way Because it's the only way, if not, uh, it's gonna squeeze all the glue inside because I have universal molding here. Let me just touch this one little bit right here and right here. Okay, so let's see what happened, okay? This is the first time I'm gonna use molding on this one. I never used it before. I always send it to the body shops to repaint it, but I think these guys don't want to paint. So I don't know why, but. I'm gonna just see the glass 
and that's it okay let's see My spot, my machine. Okay, so I'll be careful right there. As you said, the satchel is not touching yet, so we're gonna just go right there. A little more on this way, right there. Let me just hold with my suction caps. Let's see this side. Fit perfect. So pushing that a little bit. Battery is dead, so I have to charge my camera. Let me see if I can record the finish. So check it out. The molding universal molding so we finish very nice everything is tight and clean so this size the same way so the next time you have this kind of problem you use the universal molding 45 like they just cut the corners because very higher and you see the results is very nice from inside remember we have the gap is gone everything is clean no more glue show up the same on that side so it's much much better now okay so this is what the guys has to do do the job good in the first time but it's really difficult okay you see it's clean and now we're gonna see the next one so finally i'm gonna charge my camera and see you in the next shot we got more jobs today i'm slow but i'm gonna wait to the contractor see how much i have okay so see you next <laughs> 